Um, so I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand. I'm going to show you how to change the memory on this computer. It's fairly straightforward. I'm flipping this over. So you obviously make sure it's turned off. Powered off. This one always gets stuck on this one. Power off the uh, computer and pop the battery out. And it's literally three screws. It's this one, this one, and this one. They're all labeled. They all have a letter D by them. D, and you'll see over here D. So just unscrew these three screws. It's a little Phillips head screwdriver, one that's uh, good for um, sunglasses, should work. Let me just fast forward past this part. I'm trying to speed it along. Of course. The screwdriver is... Oh, sorry. Anyways. I'm left-handed. Sorry for having my hand all over the way. Anyways. Um, that the, this one corner screw, um, it's best to actually move it out of the way so it doesn't get lost. Um, the other two you can just leave in place. If you notice, let me see if I can get it to focus. There's a tab right here, and there's a tab right here. All you need to do is what I do. You can use a flathead screwdriver or just whatever. I just use this right here, and then. Sorry, it's a little hard to record and do this at the same time. It pops up. And the same thing, switching hands on the other side. Just get this little tab. Once you've popped it up, you can pull. Just pull the cover off. It hinges on the front. Actually, if you have this little plastic tab, just remove it. Some people don't take that tab off. Anyways, it hinges towards the front. When you're putting it back, just pull it towards you and put that off to the side. The memory is right here. So you literally, you pop, pop the front ones off. This will lift up. It'll be at an angle like this. And then you slide it out. You do the same thing with the other one. You hit the little tab. It's a little metal tab. It pops up. So, so now it has no memory. When you get the new memory, you obviously pop it in, make sure the orientation is correct. The sticker part goes to the bottom on both, on this and when you get it in, just make sure you can get some focus here. When you pop it in there, the bottom one, it goes in at an angle and then it'll seat properly. You'll know that it's properly, that, that it's in place. Let's get this to autofocus again. Because this little notch right here will line up properly. There we go. And then once that little notch lines up, you just push down until it clips. And same thing for the other one. I'm doing this through the computer screen, so or through the phone screen. Same thing. It'll be at an angle. Once that notch, you just push it down, it'll lock in place. I always try to just push down on them a little bit just to make sure. And then you put the lid back on. And then the lid, sometimes it's a little funny. It doesn't want to sit right on the front, so make sure that you seat it. It'll close, but then it won't be, it won't be gapped right. There it goes. It'll pop in place. Once, once the front is straight all the way across, you just push down on it. And screw it back together and pop the battery back in you should be good to go all right hope this helps enjoy